What's up, guys? It's Raph at a theater with XDX. Feel every dimension. Dolby Atmos. About to see Joker. Uh, heard the rage about it. I'm taking my beautiful wife to see it. Movie starts in, you know, a few minutes. So let's check out this movie theater. Ooh, so exciting. I don't go to movie theaters very often, but if I do, it's got to be an amazing must-see movie in a giant theater. Let's check it out. This is the XDX movie theater. Not bad. We got Dolby Atmos speakers above us. Looks like a bunch of rows. We got the the back surround sound, which is always good for a movie theater. Projector would be one of these little screens here. Got the side surround sound, very nice. And then a giant screen with black all around, of course, to dampen the overshoot. Got lit up floors. We got reclining seats, gotta be comfortable. Oh, there's the wife of, my, the feet of my wife there. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I'm going to check out this movie. I hear it's going to be amazing. And then I'll do my impressions review when I get home. I will see you guys later. Joker time. <laughs> All right, guys, just got back from seeing Joker. Uh, so first of all, the theater I was in, uh, very nice theater. Great seats. They're heated seats, which is awesome. It's got a heat setting and a cold setting. And then it reclines. It's awesome. Uh, theater, the screen looked great. It's clear. It's crisp. Uh, the sound, great Dolby Atmos. Because what they did is they played a, a few uh, Dolby Atmos demos before the movie started. And they showed the trailers, of course. Um, but I got to say that was very, it was loud. Had good position audio. But the bass wasn't hitting as hard as the Raft Cave. So that was a little bit disappointing. But overall, great, enjoyable audio and video experience at that movie theater. Now, Joker. So this is like a non-spoiler. This is my impressions. Uh, definitely recommend seeing it because uh, we all know who the Joker is, right? But the thing is, we want to know how Joaquin would portray the Joker and how he would become the Joker. And those are two number one thing or two things that I wanted to see uh, going into this movie. Uh, it was definitely a sad movie. It was a, a drama movie. It was a uh, psychologically. It was just. He he was he was a beat up dude. I mean he he's he's gone through some rough stuff, uh, with his ma, uh, with his job, uh, with making fun of, getting beat up, um, and then just his condition of his laughing, it's a it's a a disease where he, it's it's uncontrollable, uh, but he laughs at certain parts of the movie that doesn't make sense, but you kind of feel for the guy because he can't control it, um. Yeah, I mean, he it's great, great drama. Just a story was great. You could just tell. I mean, you can go one one way or the other. I mean, it's all it's all depending on the life situations that he's in, and ultimately it led to him being uh, pretty nuts and uh, doing some stuff in this movie that, uh, you know, hey, if he's gonna become the Joker, these things you kind of kind of see coming. Um, yeah, there's some good characters in this uh, tying in with the Gotham. You know, of course, Gotham City is there. Um, man, the cinematography was good. Good panning shots, good city shots. Um, the old, the old days. I think it was in the 80s, 70s, 70s or so, 60s, 70s. Uh, so probably 70s. Uh, portrayed very well. The music was great. Uh, it's kind of orchestral music, but uh, it's it set the tone of the scene. So it was a really, you know creepy music then the sad music and then there's some kind of almost psycho music you know those certain scenes when the jokers or him is kind of twitching you know um robert de niro was was great as that uh the tv host guy he was a vital part of this movie but let me tell you guys well oh, another thing guys joaquin got really skinny um which which really worked well for me because his mannerisms and his movements really would tie into uh the Joker persona, you know, which is awesome. Um, but let me tell you guys, the last half hour of this movie, when he's walking down that hall in his full outfit from the trailers, and he, you know, dyed his hair green, walking down the hall, going into that elevator, man, you just, 
man, he had the look of Joker. It was fantastic. He looked great. So the last half hour was amazing. I mean, you can see the the depths that he's going, the darkness, the the, the psycho stuff, the, the the laughter, the you know, he's gonna go one way or the other, right? And you know he's gonna he's gonna flip out. Great stuff at the end. Music was great. The 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 rise of him and uh, this iconic moment in the movie. You'll know when you see it. When he puts his fingers in his mouth. Mm. That was a that was that was the moment. That was the moment. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah. If there's a sequel, I hope there will be, because I really want to see Joaquin as the Joker. You know, we've seen Jack Nicholson, which is still my favorite, by the way. My favorite is Jack Nicholson, hands down, Joker number one. But we've seen you know Nicholson be the Joker fully. Uh, uh, Heath Ledger, of course, is the all-time favorite Joker. Of course, I mean he's just iconic. But those Jokers we've seen throughout the entire movie, pretty much. With Joaquin, he just had the small part. But what I love about this Joker movie is how he became Joker. Not just falling in a vat of, of you know, green goo and all of a sudden he's, you know, Hoo. no, 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 no. This is the psychological evolution of Joker from from guy to, you know, he, he is Joker. That's what I loved about this movie. So if there's a sequel with Joaquin as Joker from first frame on, man, you're going to pass Heath for me. Honestly, he would pass Heath. I just have a feeling he could pull it off. So we'll see where it goes. Great movie. Definitely go see it. It's making a ton of money. Number one, both weekends in a row. Uh, it was great. I, I would love to see it again. And uh, let's see what happens. Let's see where this goes from here. So uh, definitely go check it out. Um, Joker. Awesome. And I'll do these videos if I actually go to a movie theater because I think it's worth showing you guys and just talking about it afterwards. But you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Welcome. And I'll see you in the next video or a live stream. All right, guys. Home Theater Rules. Raph out. See ya. Thank you.